Terrain tools can be found here in build mode. And as you can see, there are lots of things here. Terrain manipulation. This here adjusts your circle size so that you are able to make small changes to the terrain or large ones. This slider does the same thing but adjusts the brush to a square shape. So we can have a smaller section or cover a great area. This slider adjusts softness which means around the edges. If we have it all the way to the left you can see that it's quite sharp. If we have it softer, we can see the difference in the terrain. This slider adjusts the speed at which the terrain will increase or decrease. Very slowly, when you're holding your mouse button, or quite fast. Raise terrain. We'll raise it up. Lower terrain. We'll lower it down into the ground. This tool is especially handy for creating ponds. Smooth terrain. We'll change the shape of any terrain that has been raised to give it a softer look around the outside. This is especially useful if you are trying to create a path for your sims to walk up. If you can see rock around the outside here, your sims will not be able to walk up any hills. However, if you smooth the terrain and it becomes grass-like again, Sims will be able to walk up and down that part of the hill. Flattened terrain and flattened to height are similar tools. Flattened terrain gives you a little bit more freedom and flexibility Flatten to height will be a little more specific. Flatten terrain, as you can see, as I move up with my cursor, that little white box will snap to those lines. You can choose a height this way and it will flatten it. When the grids line appear like this, you can build on top of it. Sims will be able to use this area, especially if you have the pathway. Flatten to height is the same process. However, when I move my cursor up and down side, that square box does not move. You'll either need to do it with your keyboard settings, holding control, and using the bracket keys to set a setting height or you can use the height slider which is located here and that will also move it up and down. You choose your height and the terrain will automatically raise or lower to that specific height. Flatten lot We'll do exactly that. Clicking this will flatten all the terrain to the same height, which will be essentially ground level. Terrain paint. The sliders here are pretty much the same. You can adjust 
the size and whether you want it in a circular or a square shape. The softness again is to either get the terrain paint down quickly and quite sharp around the edges or whether you want to blend it in a bit more. So the softer it is, the easier it is to blend. You have lots of terrain paints to choose from. Grass and flowers, stone and pavement, dirt and sand. Depending on which packs you have, you may have more options. It's also good to keep in mind when building that you only use two different terrain paints in your build. It has been found that if you create a build, save it, leave the game and then return, terrain paint can sometimes disappear. Uh, we found that if you only use two terrain paints, that's less likely to happen. Not to say it won't, but it's less likely. The eraser tool also has the same slider options in terms of shape, size and softness. And that will erase any terrain paint that you have put down. Water tools. Raise water. will raise the height with each click until it's at the max height. Lower water with each click will lower the water to the lowest height. Remove water will remove this section that you are clicking on. Filter height. You can use control and the bracket keys to set a water height. Or you can use the slider. The water depth map is a toggle which you can select to see if your sims will be able to use the water or not. As you can see shallow water will be accessible by sims whereas the deep water will not. So when you toggle it you will be able to see if what you've created is accessible or not to your sims. So how do we combine all of these to create something in a build?
thanks for watching my video guys if you enjoyed what you saw and you want to see more make sure you subscribe and also click on that notification bell so you don't miss out on new content you can also check me out on my socials